A security guard has tested positive to coronavirus, apparently infected while guarding travellers in hotel quarantine. Jacqueline Robson, he was working at the Pan Pacific in the city. Tracy, he was making sure guests stayed in isolation at this hotel, but now he's ended up in isolation himself. The contractor is quarantining at home, while the workers' union says it's been warning of the risks for weeks. WA's newest infection emerged from lockdown. A 47-year-old health department contractor guarding quarantined travellers at a hotel testing positive to COVID-19. He was working at the Pan Pacific, where, as you know, uh, we quarantined a range of uh, people. But two weeks after they entered the Pan Pacific, those leaving mandatory lockdown were satisfied they're safe from the virus. They'll knock on your door and um, they'll ask you a few questions um, just to see if you need anything else. We've been isolated for 14 days, so it's very unlikely that we've been in contact with them. The contractor had several shifts at the Pan Pacific and other locations. The health department saying the role was static in nature and had limited access to other areas of the hotel, the job having minimal contact with hotel employees and guests. The security guard was contracted by the health department to manage returning travellers during hotel quarantine, including passengers on flights coming in from Malaysia. Tracing is now underway to determine where the infection came from. There's concerns it was from close contact at the hotel, the worker presenting to a COVID clinic after developing symptoms. This is one of the hotels where a few weeks ago we raised issue about security guards not getting proper training, not getting proper PPE. What it shows is it's extremely contagious and uh, you never know where there's going to be uh, someone acquire the illness. For those quarantining on Rottnest Island, They'll celebrate an end to their 14 days tomorrow. All 209 of them checked daily for symptoms. I think the closest I might have been was our checkout medical a couple of minutes ago, and that must have been a metre. Rotnest will remain a quarantine island once the travellers leave, just in case new infections become clusters. Jacqueline Robson, Nine News. Financial relief could be on the way for tourism operators in our lockdown north who remain cut off from Perth travellers. The Premier today declared a plan was in the works after Nine News revealed just how much businesses are struggling. Reporter Renee Henry today continued her road trip, travelling from Kalbarri to Exmouth. We arrive at WA's whale shark capital, though that title, which usually attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors at this time of year, doesn't mean much right now. Caravan parks and hotels near empty, the township quiet, and operators have all the gear. Some snorkels, wetsuits, um, fins, all ready to go. But no one to take out to sea. This year we were on target to pay off our business and have a small amount of money left over to where we'd never have to use our pre-bookings money again. That's gone. It was supposed to be a bumper season, bookings up more than 50% when just five days in, the young couple were forced to lock down, laying off six staff and now cashing in their super to make refunds, but even that won't cover it. They say almost half of Exmouth's whale shark operators are being forced to sell off assets. And now another blow, no Perth tourists for at least another five weeks, while the South West reaps the benefits. It's still hard to swallow because they just came off their peak season down there. They just had a summer, you know, which is their peak season. We came off our off season. Pete Firth is excited to welcome small groups of pub goers again, but locals won't be enough to cover a revenue loss of 97%. If they can just assess it on a week by week, if there's no new cases and the active cases go down, then surely they should be opening those up sooner rather than later. Further north, the Kimberley faces an even longer lockdown because of its vulnerable Indigenous communities. Alison Bird left struggling to feed her camels, which are usually taking visitors on famous Cable Beach tours. But as you can see, they're out in our paddock eating bush. We've got a little bush, bit of bush still. Once that runs out... I don't know what we'll be doing. Today, though, a glimmer of hope. Plans of financial relief for struggling operators after Nine News last night revealed their desperation from Greenhead to Geraldton and Calbarry. We understand that. We're working uh, on a proposition as we speak. What could that look like? Well, we're working on it, and when we can announce details, we'll announce details. It can't come soon enough. It's going to take five to seven years for most businesses in rural, regional, seasonal areas to get to the spot that they were in before COVID hit.
So Sonia Beckwith says that recovery could take so long for whale shark operators because even if Perth travellers are allowed up here by the July school holidays, there could still be limitations around how many passengers they can take out on their boats under the social distancing rules. And then the season ends, a season which the profits from they rely on for the rest of the year. So plenty up here awaiting finalisation of that promised release relief plan. Tracy. It is a dire situation. Renee, thank you.